This is a whole department, a whole division full of people with different specialties, including physics and medicine and biology. In my field in particular, the role of the chemist is to incorporate radioactivity into specific molecules that can do a specific targeting job in the body to identify specific diseases. So we interact with the biologists and the medics, cancer clinicians, cardiovascular physicians, for example, to identify clinical problems that need to be solved, come up with solutions and find a way to incorporate the required type of radioactivity to do the imaging into molecules that will identify those particular diseases. I'm a biologist. I try and harness the power of radiation all around us for medical good. We take different types of radioactivity and we attach it to compounds that when you inject it into a person would travel through the bloodstream until eventually it finds and homes to a tumour cell. Once we've made a new imaging device or new treatment and we are happy that it works in cells, before we can go into the clinic we then have to test it in a living organism to see if it works there as well. It's a really exciting area to be involved in because what we do is we inject radioactive substances into patients. These are trace amounts of radioactivity, very, very tiny. And then we wait a while and we use our fantastic cameras to see where the tracer has gone. So if the scan tells us that a treatment's working well, then we can maybe offer that patient less intensive treatment. But if the scan shows us that the treatment isn't working well, then we need to use a different approach. Doing that type of imaging means that we can cure more patients with fewer side effects. One of the things we can do is take one of the traces we use for imaging and convert it into a medicine that we can use for treatment. One of the best examples of that is radium. And over the past 20 years or so, we have worked out how to use it safely as a medicine and we're now using it to treat men who've got prostate cancer that spread into their bones. The type of radiation we're using travels such a short distance inside the bone that we get a very high dose exactly where we want it but without any damage at all to the healthy parts that are surrounding the cancer spot. Here at the centre we are creating new compounds from the chemistry testing them in cells, testing them in animals, and then going all the way to the clinic. And we're doing this with several really exciting new compounds for cancer right now. And all of us need to work together to make the work that we do impact on patients. This is a big thing for us. We are very gratified by seeing the work that we do making a difference to patients' lives.